And another week with head coach of the Evergreen Park Mustangs, Jim Ramazinski. Uh, the head coach is off the snide, uh, no longer losing games. You lost three in a row, and then you pull off a win on the road against Revis. Congrats. Thank you. Yeah, felt good to get a win. I saw that you won that game, and the first thing that that hit me was something that you've talked about, about like, you know, week to week, especially in high school football, like, you don't want to use the catchphrase any given Sunday, but really any given Friday, or in this case on a Thursday night, team goes out, puts together a, a game where they don't make a lot of mistakes, you could win. I don't know if I'm supposed to call it an upset, but you were going on the road, you're going up against a team that had a winning record, you'd lost three in a row. Feels like an upset victory to me. Yeah, it, I mean, and it's an interesting year. If you look at our side of the conference, there's a lot of, you know, games that are surprising scores, teams are up teams are down one week. And like we said, uh, like I said before, it's, it's high school kids. Um, they came out on Thursday night. They had a really strong performance, a really strong start. We're able to finish the game. Um, and it worked out for us that night. You, you jump out early, right? Mm-hmm. In this one. And then of course the, the other team starts to try to creep back in, but that's really, you know, I know we've gotten into it before. That's really because of the makeup of of the Mustang football program. You got a lot of two-way players. So it's also about endurance with your team, right? Yeah, definitely. I mean, we we up 14 nothing after the first quarter, up 21 nothing at halftime. Uh Revis gets the ball the second half. They scored two touchdowns, one in the third, one in the fourth. Um we had a block extra point which kept it at 13, which was actually huge. That was by Arshon Powell. And uh Revis runs a pretty heavy run game. Um, bring a lot of guys inside. You know, that does wear on any defense, especially a defense that has a couple, a few guys going both ways. Um, but yeah, we were able to do enough to get the win, and it felt good to get back on the winning side of things. You get a team that had come off of a, a three game losing streak there going on the road, getting a lead. Like you just said, you're up 21 to nothing. Now the other team is starting to put on points. Do you feel the urge to start pulling guys aside and being like, hey, don't give up on this game. You guys still have a lead because you could imagine in a high school kid's brain like this is slipping away. The, you know, that, that can start to creep into them. Does that start to happen on the side? I mean, that's the first thing we talked about at halftime. Yeah. Like, you know, it's 21 nothing. You guys came out. You, you did a, you had a great first half offensively, defensively. Special teams were on point all night. Um, and. You know, I, I don't think it was anything mental with them. I think it's just, you know, like like you said, Revis is, was a four and two team. They're four and three now. It's not 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 a easy game by any means, regardless of what our record was going in. So, you know, that that's that's what teams do. They bounce back. They're going to give you a counter punch. And we were able to kind of, you know, keep our footing, even despite some uh plays that were, you know, not our, not our best effort overall and did enough to finish the game. And I was really, really proud, to be honest, of the boys' fight on Thursday night. Um, they were they were locked in from the start, which, you know, we've talked about has been an issue for our team. Um, it was good to see that kind of bounce back, especially at the start of the game. And you know, there was excitement on the sidelines. There was excitement on the field. There was great communication by both uh, sides of the ball. And we ended up finishing it up, which was great. That's awesome. Who leads the way for you in that game? Uh, there, there was a, a lot of big time performers this week, which was good to see. Our Sean Powell had two interceptions on defense, nine and a half tackles, a blocked uh, extra point. So, you know, he had his hands on everything. Also playing some offense. Um, we had Gavin Wheeler, a sophomore linebacker, ended up with 15 tackles on the game. And a lot of that has to do with their power run game that they're running over and over. Uh, yeah, but that says a lot, right? You got a young kid and we've talked about this. You got a lot of young guys that are kind of like filling in this year. You, you have a sophomore who essentially, if he, if he isn't making that play, they're, there's a lot, they're moving the ball a lot. So they're basically running in his direction and he's got to make those plays. He's making them. That's, that's a big thing right there. Yeah. I, I was really impressed with him. Uh, defensively, Caleb Kaiser came up big a couple times. He still had, he had over 10 tackles as well at free safety while scoring a touchdown on offense or receiving touchdown. Um, yeah. I mean, 
really good effort. A lot of looking at I'm looking at the stat sheet right now again as a reminder. A lot of negative plays we got on defense, and then offensively, Rowan Smythe had a great night. Three TDs, uh, one interception, but the interception came kind of at a big shot at the end of the half. Um, uh, he threw a touchdown pass to Ellis Jackson for 38 yards. He hit Kaiser for about a 15 yarder touchdown catch. And then he hit, uh, Max Bylas senior wide receivers, first varsity touchdown, um, for a, about a 18 yard pass. Great job by them. And really the offensive line did a great job all night, keeping the ball moving. Our run game was just enough to get the first downs that we needed when we when we needed them. Protection was good all night up front. And yeah, come away with a victory when you have contributors on both sides of the ball uh, at all levels of both sides. You know, it's a, it's a big thing, I think, for this to be the week that you guys go on the road and and upset a team like Revis because it's a pretty good team and you guys have been having some some troubles. And it's probably the best thing to hear you talking about how there's excitement. They're ready to go. They played flawless coming out. Like they were like, okay, we're ready to go right here at the start of the game, which that has been a concern. And it's perfect timing because you're going to need that this week. Yeah. I mean, you're going on the road against the Richards team that just beat Lamont. You got to, I mean, they've got a great record. They, they beat Shepard up and Shepard beat you guys up. I mean, like everything in this for somebody who is not paying close attention would be like, this is a monster that you're going up against, so they need to be on point. Uh, but I also feel like when you see what they did this past Thursday night, your team's not going to shrink. They're, they're going to be ready to go. Well, we talked last week about the big thing the last week was opportunities that come in front of you. And, you know, we started those conversations about even the seniors, like how there are limited opportunities for a lot of you going forward. And you have to you have to take advantage of What's in front of you, you got to make the best of every situation. You got to do everything you can do to help contribute to a winning team. And, you know, the story is kind of the same this week. You have an opportunity to play a really good team um, and you have an opportunity to go out there, show the state, hey, you know, we're still here. We want to play and we're ready to uh, fight to the end. That's the big thing, too, right? Because you, you get this win, you go up against Argo. And if you get this win and you can you can win out, you're you're in the hunt for a playoff seed. And uh, a win like this would be one of those things that would pretty much if you if you could finish this out and you could beat this team on the road, I would assume you'd be headed to the postseason. I know you don't want to get ahead of yourself, though. You're a game at a time guy. You're still a three and four team. And this is a big task. So I would imagine everything you're thinking about is just this game ahead of you. Yeah, I mean, it's it's day to day. Like always, it's, you know, how can we prepare for this Friday to get get the win and you know Richards is well coached they're a great team they're obviously a great program been that way for a very long time and we're excited for the opportunity to play them Friday night what's the key taking on Richards without giving away too much because I mean we don't want to give many advantage more than what they already have but I mean like how do you how do you view this game I think the key is you got to go out you have to have a strong belief in uh you having a winning attitude throughout the week you have to make sure that when you get out there, it starts fast, just like we've talked about. And you got to compete. Um, you have to want to compete against uh, a really good team. So I'm excited for the opportunity. I know the boys are excited for the opportunity. And, you know, nothing beats Friday nights, trying to work hard, competing with a really strong team, and we're looking forward to it. Are you the kind of coach that in a game where you're running into something that might be a, a greater test. Okay. I mean, this, this, this may be your biggest test of the year. Um, do you, do you open the playbook? Do you have things that you save for those big moments? Like, you know, like, do you, do you start sketching things like while you're looking at tape, like I want to find that little extra advantage or is it still basically the same base play your game and, 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 and try to just win that way? Well, there's a ton of adjustments made week to week. Um, so I wouldn't say it's much different than a normal week, um, but you know we've had we've had injuries throughout the season. We've had uh, we've had to kind of adjust things as we went on. So we're going to continue to do that. You watch the film on Richards. You see what you think your strongest plays are going to be, your strongest fronts, everything like that, and you roll with that. And uh, you know you have to obviously make some in-game adjustments. 
Um, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna continue to adjust like we do week to week. Uh, we're looking forward to practicing hard the rest of the week and getting there and at Richards on Friday night. Is this been kind of a weird uh, fall for you in terms of weather in these games? Like I, I mean, it's been it's been strange for me. Like it's going to be warm again this weekend. Yeah, like, I mean, we we're not dealing with any freezing rain or anything, which you would normally get towards the back end of a season. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Oh, it, to me, it's a great thing. <laughs> I mean, I, I got to stand outside every day after school, so I mean, it's a little chillier today. I'm I'm already I'm prepared though, but uh, no, I mean, it, it, to me, it seems pretty typical. It, it, once you get to, you know, we had a couple games with some high winds this year, but that happens. Um, once in a while, you'll have a cold September game, but this is usually when it starts, when yeah. the weather starts to shift. Uh, it's shifted these past couple days around here. It's a little bit cooler. But like you said, it's supposed to heat up by Friday night, but either way, we'll be ready to go. All right. Uh, the Mustangs get a big win. We were talking beforehand, and I, I'll, I, I think you mentioned it. I hope you don't mind me bringing it up. Like you don't, you don't normally lose three in a row. Right. Like that's not that was a new thing for you. And it probably was a big deal for you to get that win. You know, I mean, the last time I lost anything three in a row is my fantasy football team at the beginning of the season. But now I've won three in a row. So now I'm like, I'm, I'm back. I'm surprised. And I'm, I I'm, told coming you back. I'm the opposite. I started three and oh in fantasy. Now, I think you're just kind of rubbing it in. I, am. I, wanted, yeah. I was trying to find a way to work it in. Yeah. I, I waited until the end of the show to work that in. Yeah. All right. Uh, head coach of the Evergreen Park Mustangs, Jim Ramazinski, Coach Ram. Good luck this weekend against a, a Richards opponent that may look daunting. But I'm telling you right now, with the way you described how your team came out against Revis, if you do that again, I feel like anything can happen on Friday night at 6.30 p.m. Yep, we're looking forward to it. We're looking forward to a competitive game Friday night. It's the EP Podcast. All things Evergreen Park. It's the EP Podcast. Evergreen Park.